Good day and welcome to Temple's Table. This is episode 42, Jesus is Lord. To obtain the extended version of this and other episodes, please subscribe on our Patreon site found in the description. Please be a blessing. Okay, again, welcome to Temple's Table. This is episode 42, Jesus is Lord. Our talking points will be, a name above every name. Profess your faith. Why call me Lord? Sin no longer your master. A living sacrifice. Your body the temple, Lord and Messiah. And for those of you that are patrons, Temple Summary will cover My Lord, Peace Through Jesus, All Authority, Lord of the Sabbath, Sovereign and Lord, Jesus is Lord, Declare Christ Lord, The Lamb will triumph. Amen and Amen. In Scripture we find that Jesus has a name above every name. Philippians 2, 9 through 11 states, Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen and Amen. We also find in Scripture that we must profess your faith. Romans 10, 9 through 10 states, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified. And it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. Praise God. In scripture we find that Christ asked this question. Why call me Lord? Luke 6, 46 states. Why do you call me Lord, Lord? And you do not do what I say. Praise God. Scripture also tells us that sin is no longer your master. Romans 6, 14 through 16 states, For sin shall no longer be your master, because you are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? By no means. Don't you know that when you offer yourselves to someone, as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one you obey, whether you are slaves to sin, which leads to death, or to obedience, which leads to righteousness. Praise God. Scripture also teaches us that we should be a living sacrifice. Romans 12, 1 through 2 states, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Amen and amen. Do you not realize that your body is the temple 
1 Corinthians 6, 19-20 states, Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. Amen and amen. Scripture tells us that Christ is Lord and Messiah. Acts 2.36 states, Therefore, let all Israel be assured of this. God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Messiah. Praise God. Praise God. Okay, and now let's move on to temple summary. Scripture tells us that a Lord is someone with authority, control, or power over others. When we say that someone is Lord, that person is a master or ruler of a thing, people, or... I pray that these scriptures have helped you to support your belief in Jesus Christ in being Lord and sovereign. There is no other way to God but through Christ. We here at Temple's Table pray that you open up your eyes, you open up your heart, and you open up your mind to understand these scriptures that were taught today. Please pray for Temple's Table and we will continue to pray for you. Be blessed. The extended version of all Temple's Tables episodes can be attained by becoming a subscriber. Please click the Patreon link in the description box. Temple's Table can be found on many podcast platforms such as iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, and many more. Thank you.